Greetings, saints, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I trust that you're doing well. I trust that you've had a good week so far, and here we come, uh, coming into a weekend. And I trust that the blessings of the Lord and His mercy and grace has been upon you. I know it has for me. I wouldn't even be here if it wasn't for His mercy and grace. So we appreciate the Lord and we appreciate Him for His goodness. And I just wanted to take a little moment here to continue with our... Um, Bible study on the book of Philippians on chapter 4. I know it's been a few days since my last um, uh, video that I recorded and we had stopped I believe at verse 6 so we're gonna go ahead and uh, look here in the word and uh, let's see what the Lord has in store for us here for the next three verses but that I hope that this is gonna this brings you a sense of peace during this time of storm that we are living in during this time that of uncertainty that we are living in but guess what saints and you know this if you're a holy ghost filled christian and that is that there is there is certainty in christ and there is you 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 have nobody else nothing else to turn to that is sure that is an absolute other than the word of god in this hour so uh, that's the reason why we look at the word so we're here in Philippians chapter 4, and I believe that last time we had ended with verse 6. And uh, we're going to continue here with verse 7. Again, I'm not trying to make these videos no more than 5 to 10 minutes. So we're going to try to go quick. And so hopefully something was said that, uh, something is said that would be a blessing to you. And the Bible says here in verse 7, And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding. Now remember, this is Paul's writing to the to the Philippians and he he says here and the peace of God because in reality saints there is no peace in anything else Satan um, has come in and this this is this relates to the thirst uh, that a man has really for God and that and that brother Brandon was talking about and the prophet was talking about how that that thirst has been perverted so that's the reason why uh, people go uh, uh, and look to to alcohol for a sense of, to so, sort of quench that thirst or in this case to have a sense of peace or they look for for drugs to have that sense of peace or they look for uh, sex to have that sense of peace or they look for anything else that's outside of the word that truly gives peace. In order for them to really have peace and then the reality as you probably may have found when if you were living out without Christ and you before you became a Christian and the way I've I found out is that there is no peace in the things of the world and there is no peace in anything outside of Christ so Paul says here and the peace of God now watch this this really encouraged me and it blessed me which passeth all understanding you know, in everything that we see that's going on right now, so many things, so many, so many, you, you, you do not know who to trust, who to listen to. And you can't trust the media, you can't trust governments, you can't trust, but you can always trust, and I've always told my children this, you can always trust the Word of God. The Word of God, the book itself, has been with us. For thousands of years and God has preserved his word and it's the only one that those words have actually uh, caused a change in people's lives and uh, and we know that it's the revelation of those words because what is what is the the what is the baptism of the Holy Ghost what is the new birth well it's a personal relationship it's a personal revelation of who Christ is to you you see and of course it's it's how the word describes who Christ is and it, it, that person revelation has to uh, go in line with the word but this piece here is a piece that passes all understanding so you may not understand what's going on you may not understand why my child does not or my daughter my son does not want to come to the Lord 
Why my, my father that I've been praying for so many years does not want to turn to Christ? Why my mom that I've been praying for so for some, so many years and God does not heal her from such and such issue? Well, you know what? And the peace of God which passeth all understanding shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Oh my saints, if you if you don't if you can't turn and can't find peace in anything else, you can find peace in this verse. I could I guarantee you that right now. So that peace of God, and I hope that that, that encourages you, because it certainly has helped me um, in the time in this time when we're trying to look for answers and we and, and, and with with what's going on currently in our situation with this virus. But you know, ultimately, nobody knows the answers other than Christ and Christ has the answers to all things so let that peace be the peace that guides you in this hour and not just in this hour but in the hours to come in the days to come in the weeks and years to come let that peace be the one to guide you because that's the only thing that will last and it has uh, and it has eternal value verse 8 says finally brethren whatsoever things are true whatsoever things are honest Watch this. Whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue and if there be any praise, think on these things. Oh my. Uh, just, just, just looking at that and thinking of that. That's exactly what God wants us to do to think on these things because what else can can what else has such good such a good report what else carries virtue what else carries what else is pure what else is honest again it's the is the thing that brings peace and it's the word of god amen so this is what paul is telling us to do whatsoever things are true and whatsoever things whatsoever things are true and we know the word of god is true whatsoever things are honest i don't think anybody can dispute that the word of god is not honest unless you're an atheist whatsoever things are just there is only one righteous and just uh, uh person and being and that's god he's the one that judges right rightly not even the best judge in the land or in the world can judge like god can Whatsoever things are pure, and what's the purest thing? There was no sin in Christ Jesus when he was here on earth, and he is the word. Therefore, this is what's pure. The word of God is pure. Whatsoever things are lovely. Oh my, the, there's nothing better nor beautiful than the lovely Lord Jesus. And you know why? He didn't have beauty that people would, would be attracted to him. Uh, as Isaiah 53, I believe, says when he was here on earth, there was no beauty in him that you should want him as far as physically. But there was an eternal beauty, an internal beauty that he had that attracted people. And that's the beauty that God wants us to have is that 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 be, that internal beauty that reflects on the outside. And I, and I pray that God give me more of that because it's so easy to get carried away with the things of this life and the and the. Uh, uh, and the different things that are going on in this life and you lose that purity and you lose that loveliness that can only come from the word of God and again whatsoever things are of good report my goodness the good news um, I believe it was the LaFontaine family that sung a song the good news is that he's risen from the dead good news is that he came to save the bad news was defeated with God's word the good news amen this is this is what bring this is this is what brings joy and, and and it's of good report is the word of God anything related to the word and and he finally says here if there be any virtue again purity tied in with purity uh, if there be any virtue and if there be any praise think on these things so that's what I want to leave you with uh, saints I want to encourage you to just think on the word of God. Don't just read the word and and kind of skim through it and say, okay, I did my deed for today. But really think on what you're reading.
because I know and I believe that God really wants to give you a revelation, but he can only give you as much as you give him. So if you give him 10 minutes of your time or if you give him, uh, I always say, if you give him your arm, he's only going to be able to use your arm. If you give him your arm and your leg, one leg, he'll, he'll use your one arm and one leg. But if you give all of you to him, then he's going to be able to use all of you. So I want you to think on these things as I leave you. May God bless you today. Until next time, take care.